Happy Monday, YouTube. How's everybody doing? Everyone doing well? I hope so. Uh, this is Mark from Like-Minded Lunatics coming at you with another music video matchup. This is where I take two music videos or two pieces of music, compare them head to head, and just see which one comes out on top, if one does come out on top. Sometimes they don't. Um, before we get to today's two videos, though, I want to make sure I remind everybody, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos if you uh, have a second, hit that thumbs up, and please leave us some comments. I certainly love seeing your feedback. Now, this is October for me. I don't know when you're watching, it, watching this, but for me, it's October, and we're doing Halloween themed videos and music all month long. So if that's what you're into, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you get an update every time we post a new video. Okay, so today, today we're doing covers of Michael Jackson's Thriller. Now, in 1984, it did not get any bigger than Michael Jackson. And I remember seeing this video very vividly. Uh, we didn't have we didn't have uh, MTV out in the country where I was from. You had to buy a huge satellite dish to get cable. We didn't have that. Uh, so I remember in January, my cousin Kim had come home from college and she had a VCR tape of Thriller. And we went to my aunt's house and a whole group of us cousins sat around in the living room with the lights off to watch this video. I remember it vividly. Um, and <clears throat> it's a great video. John Landis directed it. Um, and it's such an iconic song. And these two videos here, I think these are two great covers of this song. So you can watch the Thriller video. Everyone's seen it. But these are two covers that I think are super, super interesting. Um, the first one is uh, over here is from Wayne Brady. Uh, and the other is uh, from Leo Morcioli. Uh, from Frog Leap Studios. So let's put these suckers back to back and see which one comes out on top. Uh, so why don't we do this? Let's go ahead and start with Leo from Frog Leap Studios. Now we've looked at some of Leo's work before. You can click that over here, but he's a fantastic musician uh, and he does covers of, of really famous songs. And uh, a lot of times he remixes them, recomposes them. So he does some interesting things with them. So it's not just, not just a straight cover. All right, here we go. Here's Thriller, uh, the cover by Leo Morcioli. I love that he ha does have a sense of drama about him. He's doing that slow build up. The original song did this too until it hit that dun dun. Yeah, oh, and there's that guitar. I'm already liking it already, aren't you? Now I want to throw a Halloween party. Let's see what happens, what he does with the, with the vocals, because he's known for his raspy rock and roll style voice. I love that raspiness that Leo has in his voice, don't you? How he lets it go to that, that vocal fry. I like that line too, right? Tara takes the sound before you make it. And boy, his rock and roll voice sure does lend a lot to this song, doesn't it? Oh, here comes the jacket. Here it comes. Get it, Leo. My goodness. Oh man, all right. And so, and they're even mimicking they're even mimicking the uh, the dance moves from the video. If you've seen the video, that's the that's the famous dance move from there. That's awesome. It's a rock and roll thriller. All right, so let's go over here. Now this is this is a jazz cover of Thriller with Wayne Brady doing the vocals. So let's see how this goes. They're doing that slow build up. I do like that. I think that that's important to this song. Oh, that's awesome. This makes me want to get a nice old fashioned, doesn't it? Don't you want a nice drink like a smoky scotch or maybe a, a, a nice a nice floral gin, I think, would go good with this song. Or this version. All right. 
<laughs> Listen, girl, I'm not like all these other fellas. <laughs> It's close to midnight. Something evil's lurking in the dark. Oh, man. A totally different feel from Leo, right? Same song, totally different feel. I'm liking it, though. I have to say, I dig this. Shouldn't this be playing on the on the Cowboy Bebop? Shouldn't this be on uh, on the Bebop? Maybe Spike is listening to it while he's making some ramen? Under the moonlight You see a sight that almost stops your heart You try to scream Oh, but terror takes a sound before you make it Man, his voice is great, isn't it? I mean, I know that Wayne Brady is just known for being an all-around entertainer. Um, but for the most part, I saw him on Whose Line Is It Anyway? And, to, and he sang a little on there. But to see him do this, a swinging jazz band? Awesome! He should just do that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. You start to freeze As horror looks you right between your eyes You're paralyzed Cause this is thriller What a, oh man, what a great voice. I am loving Wayne Brady over here. And no one's gonna save you from the beast about to strike. You know it's thriller, thriller night. You're fighting for your life inside a killer thriller tonight. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, what good starts to both of these, right? Oh my God, I don't know where I'm at yet. How about you? I don't know. I think it depends on the party, right? I think it depends on the party. Uh, so Leo, this is uh, this is great for just an all-around party atmosphere. I feel like for an adult Halloween party, you can't go wrong with this. Fantastic. I think with this one though, this is one that everyone needs to slow down and really just kind of let sink in, right? I, again, it it reminds me of a nice cocktail, like one of those nice craft cocktails that takes about 15 to 20 minutes for the bartender mixologist to make, and then you don't want to drink it too fast because the damn thing was 1950 and so you you drink it real slow that's what this one reminds me of this one reminds me of a of a of a of a good beer funnel doesn't it like your friends setting it up throwing it right in here let's go back over here to leo let him let him get down I do, again, I do like his raspy voice, and I like how he's able to let it go to that vocal fry and then bring it back to be melodious. I do love that about Leo. And doesn't it look like a good party? That was when Leo was on a, uh, on a, on a cruise, and uh, he recorded several videos there. This is on that cruise. But doesn't that look like a good time? Jeez, man, I've been quarantining for so long now, I would kill to be at a party like this, wouldn't you? Just to be at a great party, not to have to worry about the, the COVID. You hear a creature creeping up behind your appetite. Here it comes. So here's what I've always liked about his voice. Like, his voice has got that really aggressive vocal fry in it where he lets it go ah! but it never sounds aggressive to me i don't know if I, i don't know if i'm explaining that right so like listening to like slayer and stuff like that that sounds aggressive that makes me want to get violent this doesn't for some reason and i don't know why he's doing kind of the same thing with his voice but for some reason the way that leo sings it just it's joyful to me there's just not aggression to it i don't know i don't know if i'm explaining it right Wow, and then we get that great guitar. Hot damn. What a good party. All right, let's leave it there for a second. Let's go back over here to Mr. Wayne Brady. Hey, ladies. Hey, ladies. You hear the door? This song should come with a Sazerac. 
This makes me want to see a New Orleans style thriller. Wouldn't you like to see that? Like set in a French Quarter with zombies and stuff coming out of uh, coming out of the cemeteries there, the the uh, the, the mausoleums. That's what this sounds like to me. And, and wonder if you'll ever see the sun. You close your eyes and hope that this is just imagination. But all the while, you hear a creature creeping up behind. Oh, yeah. So this, this just occurred to me. I should have queued this up before, but I didn't think about it. Wayne Brady doing this, it sounds like Sweet in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Anybody out there remember that, that episode once more with feeling? With uh, the demon who was singing? That's what this reminds me of. So f to me, this sounds more malevolent than Leo. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of that Buffy episode, but I'm getting getting more malevolence from Mr. Wayne Brady than I am from, from Leo. Love, this is thriller, thriller night and Maybe that's just me, but... Chance against a thing with 40 eyes. This is thriller, thriller night. You're fighting for your life inside of killer thriller tonight. And the dad starts dancing oh wow what a great breakdown and his dancers are pretty awesome too right all right let's take it back over to leo and let's let's get a look at this guitar solo this makes me wonder would it be possible to mosh to the thriller dance i don't think so i don't think it's possible to do mosh moves with this i'm not entirely sure i don't know how that would work I'd need about a six pack and a group of people to see if we could try it, but I don't know if you could mosh to, to, to this using these moves. That's great. Again, it sounds more joyful. I know that's weird. I don't know why. This should be this should be scarier. It's not scary to me. It makes me want to just party and slam beers and shoulder check people. Sorry, mouse is in the way. I don't know how to use this computer. All right, let's take it back over to Mr. Wayne Brady. Hey, oh, there's no escaping the jaws of the alien this time. Holy shit, this is this is scary to me now. Open oh, wide, it's the end of your life. Oh. So you know what this reminds me of? And I thought about it beforehand, so I was able to pull stuff up. I, I did a little bit of planning for this one. This reminds me of films that use upbeat music and juxtapose it to really horrific images of murder and stuff. And obviously the classic example is I Want a New Drug in, uh, in American Psycho. Um, such an upbeat song, I Want a New Drug. And then we've got Patrick Bateman committing just horrific acts of violence to it. Because it's not just about the pleasures of conformity and the importance of friends, it's also a personal statement about the band itself. Hey, Paul! Now that's messed up. That's messed up, man. I feel like that this scene would be nowhere near as scary or, or uh, not really scary, but not as uh, not as just weird and uncomfortable as it is without Huey Lewis. You know, it's that upbeat music that makes this even more messed up. Or like Clockwork Orange when they're doing singing in the rain and beating people with canes. Or uh, in Reservoir Dogs where the dude gets his ear cut off. 
um, when listening to Stuck in the... Or what is it? Uh, oh, crap, I can't remember the name of the song. You, you know the scene I'm talking about. I feel like it's juxtaposition there, right? And so with this, I feel like... I feel like this should be the soundtrack to just horrific images of violence. Preferably in New Orleans. Yeah, for sure. Somebody should just be getting an axe to the head right now. More than any or beaten to death with a saxophone. Wouldn't that be rad? But, Wayne Brady's getting it, isn't he? That son of a gun can do everything. The demons closing in on every side. And again, this one just seems like a party to me. What a great party. Here we go. He just hits you right in the right in the emotions with that scream, doesn't he? Makes you want to get up and jump around, throw some kicks. That dude had a glove on. He's rocking the one glove. There we go. I guess that's CJ Pierce. Oh man, I love the way that that guitar is capturing the, the sound of Thriller. Dun, dun. Boy, it's a deep, hard riff, isn't it? Yeah. I'd like that just isolated. Maybe do some heavy bag workout with that. Bow, bow. That's a left jab and a right hook, that, that riff. Again, what a good party this must have been. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> My goodness. And then we end with the laughing. Perfect. All right, let's go. Let's let Wayne Brady Brady wrap up. Girl, I can feel you more than any fool would ever try. This is Thriller, oh, Thriller tonight. Girl, let me hold you tight. This should be played in a speakeasy, right? And you gotta go through a fake wall to get to it. Killer, chiller, I feel ya, girl. Makes me think of there's a uh, there's a bar in in San Diego called the Noble Experiment. Look it up. It's a speakeasy, and you have to kind of know where it is, and you have to push through this whole wall of kegs. There's a secret door, and then when you get into the other room, there's this tiny little speakeasy where where they do these super expensive craft cocktails. And uh, the whole back wall is just human skulls. Kind of reminds me of the catacombs in Paris, if you've ever had a chance to walk through those. Terrifying. It's just weird. And that's what this reminds me of. It. I, I feel like this should be played in a speakeasy that has skulls for the walls. Ah, let me be a thriller, baby! Hot damn, Wayne! What the hell? Get out of here, werewolf. Is Wayne Brady going to have to choke him? I'm not going to do it. I won't do it, I promise. Oh, oh, there it is. That's the end. Wow. Two really good covers, right? I don't know where I'm at. I'm not going to pick one. I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to stick with what I've been saying throughout this entire thing. It depends on the party. It depends on the party. I feel like if we're having just a normal party, the parties that I usually get invited to... I feel like this is probably what would be played, right? Super upbeat, people screaming at the party, so you can't have anything nuanced on. You can't have anything that's 
that's too complex because you can't hear shit. People are talking too loud. You need something that cuts right through, and I feel like this cuts through. But if we're having a nice cocktail hour on Halloween, maybe it's the after party, smoking some good cigars. Maybe the absinthe is out. Somebody's broken out some absinthe. This is, this is what I would want. I feel like this one is what I would want. All right, well, let me know what you think. I hope you liked this one. Hope this one was fun for you. Um, if you liked it, please leave us some comments. I do love to see your comments. I, I think it was uh, Stopwatch Joe. Was this one for you? I think it probably was. Uh, so if you like what you see, please let me know in the comments. And if you like the content that we're pushing out, please make sure to recommend this to your friends. We sure do like building up that subscriber base. Uh, we're going to be doing Halloween-themed episodes this entire month. So stick around with us. If you've got any recommendations, if you've got any feedback, let us know. Take care, folks, and I'll see you on Friday with the Friday Night Video Reaction.